problem. When you're using Open Broadcaster, you sometimes have to make a gazillion different scenes for all the different games, and it's kind of frustrating to set up, and each time you open up a new game, you have to go, and for instance, like on this one, you'll have to go and, uh, you know, edit the scene, make it larger or smaller, position it, drag it around. It can get really frustrating, and if you're playing a lot of different games, especially if you're streaming them to Twitch and that sort of thing, it can be extremely cumbersome. The solution, using DX Story in conjunction with Open Broadcaster. So in this video, we're going to learn how to use DX Story. Uh, I'm using the newest stable version, 2.0.122. We're going to learn how to use this in conjunction with Open Broadcaster to make your life a lot better. It can also sometimes improve your frame rate because DX Story is a bit more efficient than Open Broadcaster. Um, it doesn't always, didn't really improve mine much, but I've heard some people say that it has improved their frame rate. So let's go ahead and talk about what you need. You're going to need Open Broadcaster. Go ahead and download that. And, uh, you know, you're, you're going to need um, DirectX and all that sort of thing as well. So make sure your DirectX is up to date. You're going to need to go to EXCODE with a K, K O D E dot com. It's a Japanese website. And you're going to need to download uh, DX Story. This is not a free program, it's $36. Click on Buy, and get a license code. It's the best $36 that you're going to spend if you are a streamer. And it's a lot better than XSplit in the sense that, you know, XSplit you have to pay for. I guess it's more than that. And there's a reoccurring fee on XSplit. Am I wrong? Wrong? Right? Wrong? XSplit? Yeah. So there's reoccurring fees. Screw that. Um, if you're going to be recording to your hard drive, I'm going to recommend picking this up as well. The Lagarith Lossless Codec. Just download it, and then you can use this codec uh, with DX Story. But if you're not going to be recording to your hard drive, if you're just going to be streaming, don't worry about this. All right, so before we configure Open Broadcaster, we're going to configure DX Story. So we've got DX Story here. And um, when you first open it up, there's all kinds of things going on here. You're going to want to ignore a few things, um, mainly just so there's no conflicting nonsense. So go ahead and click Ignore Settings and add in Open Broadcaster. You just click Plus and then browse to uh, Open Broadcaster, wherever that is. Mine's in C, Program Files, uh, parentheses x86, OBS, uh, slash obx.exe. And then you also want to make sure that you're ignoring the 64-bit version. And mine was in C, Program Files, OBS, obs.exe. So just go and make sure you're ignoring those two. Ignore those targets. There you go. And that'll help to eliminate any conflicts. All right. Um, this is going to configure just where your um, overlay goes on your screen. There's several more positions when compared to fraps. And we also have more information. Video FPS and ride FPS. One of the problems with fraps is that, you know, whenever you start recording, it will limit your frame rate to whatever the right file FPS is. If you're doing 30 frames a second, it's going to lower your frame rate to 30 frames per second. Also, this is a lot more efficient, so you'll have faster performance anyway. Um, but I, I usually show the two of those, and then you can have a record status as well. It'll just tell you whether or not uh, you're streaming or recording. I don't need that because I'm using, I'm using Open Broadcaster and I know when it's uh, recording. You can even go so far as to change the color scheme. All right. Um, we don't need to worry about any of this. You can, you know, set up a folder to save your screenshots if you're going to be using screenshots, but I'm not worried about that. We do want to configure our hotkeys. So over here, um, first thing I want to configure is my stop and start movie capture. Uh, I use NumPad Plus for a few things in games, but I need to find something I don't use that frequently. I don't use NumPad Minus that frequently. I don't use NumPad Delete. So that's going to be good. You can also go ahead and configure any other, uh, you know, shortcut keys you need, like screenshots and whatever. You know. All right, here is the page that we're going to pay the most attention to. Uh, you want to pick your codec. The default codec is going to work just fine. It's actually nice and fast. Um, and um, that's just the DX Story video codec. Use that one if you're going to be streaming straight to Open Broadcaster. If you're going to be recording to your hard drive, this one is pretty good, but it creates a large lossless file. The Langerith lossless codec is going to produce a file that is, you know, a bit, 20% maybe smaller um, and about the same quality. So use that one if you're recording to your hard drive. I'm going to go ahead and select this one because we're just going to do, uh, we're not going to do file output. Here's the output options. Of course, you pick your frame rate. I usually keep it at 30 for streaming. File output, obviously, is your hard drive. And you don't have to toggle between one or the other. You can do a file output to your hard drive, and you can also do direct show output. Direct show output is going to output this as a video device, just like a webcam or something, and then you can open that in Open Broadcaster. It's freaking awesome. So go ahead and uh, output this is a direct show output. There you go. And these are some options here. You can, you know, include the mouse cursor and the video FPS. I do not like to include those 
on the screen because I'm streaming and nobody needs to see the FPS and all that nonsense. So we have our scaling options here, or we can go and uh, you know configure this further. And I'll show you how to do that. If you want to configure your video settings, see this yellow thing here? Click on that, and then here we have our presets. Now I was streaming Skyrim at 1000 by 2000, so I set that up. And we have four different output options, which I love. So I've got this one I use for Skyrim. My output option two is going to be 1080p. And that's going to take anything that I throw at it, 720p, 20, you know, 1440p, if I, anything I'm shooting, and it's going to make sure that it's outputting at 1080p. It's going to stream that straight to Open Broadcaster. And that way I'm not going to have to jerk around with all, you know, all the different resizing, that sort of thing. And it's not going to resample it, it's just going to stretch it. So if you're playing something like FTL, it's actually going to go ahead and stretch it all the way out to 1080p so it'll output um, to Open Broadcaster. Now to be fair, it's kind of stupid uh, with Open Broadcaster to be using 1080p, you'd probably be better off with uh, 720p, so you can just go ahead and manually enter that in here. But you can manually enter in anything you want, and I'm not going to insult your intelligence by telling you, um, you know, how to do all this stuff. Just go ahead and, you know, set them all up. And again, four outputs, and this will be shown in Open Broadcaster, let me show you, as four separate video files. Add, um, video capture device, just whatever, I'll just show you for now. And you see there we have all four of those DX video sources. It's freaking amazing. Canceling this one for now though. So we can come back in a second and do it for real. All right, so that's really all you need to know. There's some other options here you can set up. Uh, you know, you can set this thing up to use your uh, microphones and that sort of thing, but that's going to be a video, you know, specifically on DX Story. All the rest of this stuff you really don't need to worry about much. Um, the other thing that's interesting is the delay hook. If you're playing a game like Skyrim that has an EMB or anything that uses, um, the, the DirectX DX9 whatever file, it's a DLL file. If it's using that, it's, it may conflict with the on-screen display. So you'll want to program in a delay hook. Usually 20 to 25 seconds will fix that. So if you're using an EMB, you can kind of fix that. I still had a lot of crashing issues, so I just decided to use, um, you know, just use Open Broadcaster without DX Story for Skyrim with the EMB. But most of the games, you will not have to worry about this. But if you are experiencing crashing, it could be because of the overlay and adding in a delay hook will probably fix that. All right, so that's really all I need to worry about right now. Everything should be good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave this open, but just move it aside and then show you what we could do at Open Broadcaster. All right, Open Broadcaster here. Now you see we have it, I have it set up just like I did before. Like I've got all these games here, you know, one from Gold My Source and FTL and uh, Deus Ex, but I can go ahead and just, you know, freaking delete all these things, just delete. And I don't need these anymore because now I've got my DX Story settings. Uh, the Google Hangout, whatever. But there's the DX Story 1080p. I'll go ahead and delete this and just re-add it so you guys can see. Get rid of all the DX Story sources. Um, all right, now let's go ahead and add a new source and we'll make it the DX Story video. And uh, video capture device. I'm doing the DX Story 1080p. Again, you're probably better off running this at 720p if you're streaming to, to uh, Twitch, but whatever. All right, uh, finding... I set up DX Story Video 2 to be 1080p, so I'm just going to do that one. You can see here the resolution is already pre-configured, 1080p, 30 frames per second. It's pulling all this information from DX Story. It's wonderful. Hit OK. And there's my DX Story 1080p video. The other beautiful thing is that when there's nothing on the screen, it stays black. So, you're, you know, in case your game crashes or something like that, it's not going to just show whatever, you know, the, the, the next checked thing is in the list, like your desktop or something. Maybe you have sens sensitive information on your desktop. So that's kind of cool. I'm going to make sure my webcam's on top here by going to, to going to order and then just moving it to the top. There we go. All right, so now I've got this. And remember, I configured that hotkey. So let's see how this works in a few games. I've got Trine here. I'm going to move this over to the other screen. Now uh, I'm going to start Trine up. And the other beautiful thing about this is um, I can now play my games in full screen with Open Broadcaster without having a freaking headache. Before, full screen, nah, not so much. Anyway, check this out. I'm in the game, and I'm going to press my hotkey, and whoa, there it is. Just immediately there. That's trying. I can play my game. It's amazing. Hey, my face brightened up. It's because the screen is dark. So that's trying. Now check this out. I'm using the same source. Let's go ahead and get out of this. I'm using the same source here. Let's open up a different game. Full screen. Full freaking screen. Just minimized, hold up. There we go. There's Rayman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me hit my hotkey real quick. And would you look at that? 
As soon as I hit my hotkey, it is in open broadcast. Right over here, it's freaking brilliant. So I didn't have to do anything else. It's streaming straight from here. And I'm playing this at 2560 by 1440, but DX Story is making it 1080p for me. So yay, I can go play this game for a little while. You know what, let's play like a, a cheesy game, like an old school game and see how that runs. How about some Risk of Rain? Let's open that up. It's, um, you know, kind of a, an indie game or whatever. Hit my hotkey. Are you guys getting the picture here? Whatever game you want. Open up Deus, Deus Ex. I'm running, this, I'm running this game in a very strange resolution. Like 2400 by something weird. Opening up. Hit my hotkey. I didn't configure this one for full screen yet, but it's almost full screen. Did you guys get the idea here? It's beautiful. Let's do one more game. I'm going to do FTL to show you how it stretches it out, you know. Well, what do you know? I'm configured FTL to run in uh, full screen mode. So there, I hit my hotkey, and I'm playing my game. But check this out. I can go over here, and I'll make this windowed, you know, because a lot of times you play this windowed. Uh, turning full screen off. Close. Quit. All right, I'm going to reopen... FTL. There we are. See, we got the small window here. If I do full screen, this is what it looks like. Oops. There we go. See, it's it's like that in the window. That's that's if I'm just capturing the entire monitor. But check this out. I'll go back to my DX story. Press my hotkey. It grabs this and it pulls it to the entire frame. It's freaking awesome. It's powerful. It makes me happy. Kane, I hope you're watching this video. It's going to make your streaming so much better. So anyway, this is the end of the video. Um, hopefully you guys will be uh, much happier people after this. Go ahead and configure your scenes and stuff. You know, make them hot keyable. We got that. You know, it's a right monitor. We configure all your different scenes. But, yeah. If you guys have any questions, go over to the forums. I I'm just having so much fun doing this. If you guys have questions... Go to the forum, post your question there. I will jump in and help you. Hopefully uh, this has been a helpful tutorial. If you're new to the channel, you better subscribe or I will come to your house and put snakes in your soup. What a bad idea. They're gonna be so angry. They hate soup. All right, bye.